In an official letter to the nation, Joe Biden has dropped out of the 2024 race for president. Following this is a readout of that letter. But first, Donald Trump sent this to his supporters in response. The Washington establishment, the hate America media, and the corrupt deep state did everything they could to protect Biden, but he just quit the race in complete disgrace. Don't forget, our victories are all thanks to you. We can't let off the gas. Full speed ahead. If we're going to win back the White House, it will be all because of the momentum we build at this very moment. Right here, right now. My fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. We've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors, and in expanding affordable health care to a record number of Americans. We've provided critically needed care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substances, passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together, we overcame a once-in-a-century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We've protected and preserved our democracy, and we've revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me re-elected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today what I always have, that there is nothing America can't do when we do it together. We just have to remember, we are the United States of America. The whole situation reminds me of a scene from the 2010 version of the movie True Grit. I am confident you will also see how it tracks. Cheers. He does not contribute. The man who walks in front of bullets. Take the girl. I bow out. A fine thing to decide once you brought her into the middle of the Choctaw Nation. I bow out. I wash my hands. I'm a foolish old man who's been drawn into a wild goose chase by a harpy in trousers and a nincompoop. Uh, Mr. LaBeef, he can wander the Choctaw Nation for as long as he likes. Perhaps the local engines will take him in and honor his gibberings by making him cheap. You, sister, let go where you like. Our engagement is terminated. Bye-bye.